Please make a how, how do you edit? Video. The way you what edit you is fire. What how do you edit you YouTube? Okay, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> if you guys click on this video, it's probably because you don't learn how to edit. And not just learn how to edit, but how to edit aesthetic. I'm a sit for aesthetic. And I am here to spill all of my tea, all of the wisdom that I have collected for the past like two years that I've been on YouTube. Also, I'm going to be having some timestamps. If there is something specific that you want to learn how to do, the description box has your back. No hard feelings. I get it. I use the Canon G7X Mark II to film all of my videos. I kind of use Final Cut Pro for free. I wasn't really down with spending $300 for an editing software. I'll leave a link for a 90 day free trial down below. I also use this SD card converter in order to import all of my footage. So now let's move on to the actual editing process. The first step with any editing project is importing your footage. In order to do this, you're going to want to press the arrow in the left corner. Immediately, you're going to see all of the clips. You're going to want to press import selected. You can then place your desired footage onto the project timeline now it is time for the rough cut it's basically like the skeleton of a youtube video you have to go through hours and hours of footage and find the parts that you actually want to keep i take out all of the ums pauses the parts that don't make sense and in order to do that i use a keyboard shortcut there are so many keyboard shortcuts that i would definitely encourage you to learn this one being command b it makes flaming a clip so freaking easy all you got to do is press command and b and then press delete a couple other other ones that will be so helpful while editing include command C which copies your clip, command V which pastes, and command Z which undoes any previous command. Matching colors is so easy guys. I screenshotted Conan Gray's video so long ago. I go to that picture and I match color it and it almost always makes my video a little bit more dreamy and vibey but there's also times where the match color thing doesn't quite work so I have to do a color board. I actually created an effect preset not to long ago i typically just add this and then just mess around with the saturation because i already have the shadows mid tones and highlights exactly how i want them i make the shadows a little bit more yellow toned and i make the mid tones and highlights a lot more pink i also like to up the saturation especially on the highlights and i also kind of up them on the shadows and mid tones a little bit too in order to create an effect preset all you're going to want to do is press this button save effect preset you're going to be able to name the preset choose a category you're going to want to select the video effects that you want to be included in the preset and then just press save time lapses the way that i do this is i click modify i press retime i usually fast forward it eight times or 20 times i love to add music to help tell the story that i'm trying to get across i usually go for like jazz upbeat aesthetic type music that i find all the time on epidemic sound so thank you for sponsoring i'm just kidding they did not sponsor me i'm kind of mad at them because i emailed them before filming this video but it's okay next time bestie these are some of the songs that i use sunshine samba which is available in the youtube library some cattle and mysteries back when we met I also use thematic to find copy free rap music. Here are a couple songs that I love. Bumblebee. Girl from Manu Bay. A Lover's Wishlist. Both thematic and epidemic are premium subscriptions, so that does mean that they cost money. But I definitely find that the investment is worth it. If you would rather find music elsewhere, I think YouTube is a great resource. A little trick that I've learned along the way, listening and paying close attention to the music that I hear on other people's videos. Recently, I was watching Emily Pellucci's, I think I said that right, I'm not sure. I noticed that one of her songs that she used was really cute and like fun. So I literally just asked Siri what song it was whenever i do find music that is on youtube and it is 100 copyright free i use mp3 to download music this is the website that i use all the time an artist that i really like to use is trees and lucy and all their music as of right now is copyright free <laughs> and doing the rough cut it's finally time to get into the more spicy editing i always get asked about the aesthetic fonts that i use i personally love using futura bold futura medium helvetica new helvetica bold oblique colvetica times new roman times new roman bold and synchro let i've also downloaded a couple fonts from font geek one of them that i use very frequently that isn't available on final cut pro is 
soap. I also really like to play with the colors and the drop shadows and outlines. I like using effects both on text and on video. To find effects, you're going to press this button on the left. All of the video and audio effects available on Final Cut Pro will pop up. You can use this search bar to make finding a specific effect easier. Most often use bad TV, underwater, earthquake. Way too sweet. I also really like using voice effects like Modest Cathedral, Telephone, Muffled, and Monster. I also love using sound effects, typing on a keyboard, which I actually found on YouTube. All I did was go onto YouTube, look up typing on keyboard. I just downloaded the audio using YouTube to MP3. I also did the same thing with all the mouse clicks that you guys hear. In my most recent video, I actually used a new sound effect that I found after searching aesthetic sound effects on YouTube. There's so many editors packs available on YouTube for free that you can download. I'll leave a link to this video and all the ones I've mentioned down below. I think adding sound effects just makes videos so much more engaging and that is why I like using them. I love using emojis in my videos to add personality whenever I do my locations. Like let's say I'm going to Target or I'm going to Ikea. I use a round push pin and I literally just press command, control, and space and immediately all of the emojis available for Apple will pop up. You can select which Whatever emojis you want. Here's a couple aesthetic emojis that I like using throughout my videos. And here's a couple more fun ones that I like to add a little bit of pizzazz or whatever. Title cards and transitions. I just get a 360 color solid. I usually use white snow or just a fun color with text and a mouse click to make these fun transitions. I also like to use like a white overcast over my video sometimes to emphasize text. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get started. The way that I do this is by placing a white generator above my footage. After changing the color to bright white, I lower the opacity to 30.32%. After doing this, I place my text and change the color of the text to black. Another thing that I really like doing is adding these check boxes whenever I'm talking about what I need to do my like productive vlogs. Once again, I go onto Google and I just look up checkbox, copy and paste, and then I'm able to find the check boxes and add them to my text and then just add the tasks that I need to do. I also like to use PNGs. These are essentially images throughout my videos to make them once again, a little bit more engaging. For example, I like to use the Instagram handle whenever I plug in my Instagram. So right now i am doing that i also like using the iphone png that i found once again on google i just looked up iphone 13 png transparent after downloading i place over a screen recording for my phone that i filmed using the go record screen recorder app this is perfect for promoting your social media and also for what's on my iphone videos i also like adding crops and ken burns to emphasize jokes and make my time lapses and montages a little bit more entertaining you just want to press this this button right here you're going to click crop and then you can move it more in forward you can also move it out forward have the green box which is where the Ken Burns is going to start. It kind of does this zoom in action type thing. You can also do it the reverse. Sometimes I do this. The next step is the intro. Usually the intro is one of the last things I do when editing. I just go through the whole video. I try to find the most aesthetic and interesting parts of my video to kind of serve as a hook for my viewers. I like to add the typing keyboard sound effects and then the typewriter text. The final thing that I do is my final watch through and I just check for mistakes, kind of make mental notes to see if there's any parts that maybe I should take out. Maybe I make a joke and it just doesn't hit or maybe there's a part where I realize that I had repeated myself. Catch my drift. Once I have found myself satisfied with my video, with my project, I then export the video in 1080p and I just download that onto YouTube. Honestly, the funny thing here is that I'm going to actually have to edit this video on how to edit. Full circle moment. I hope this video was helpful. I hope to see you guys in the next one. God bless and goodbye. Wait, also let me know if you guys want to see like a YouTuber tips video. So yeah, anyways, bye.